So all the custom work is finished. And let's start with the show side scale. And this is the Fat Carbon Toxic Storm, I believe. If not, I'll put it up on screen. But as you guys can see, I did bevel the edges. And basically, I just copied the original scale. And of course, I put my, my logo in or on the underside of it. But really happy with it. It's really, really cool material once again. Love Fat Carbon. And one thing I had to kind of figure out was, it was a bit of a trick, because as you can see from the original scale, the backspacer is actually integrated into the scale, which it fooled me. I was trying to pull this off, and obviously you can't because it's part of the scale. But I was able to figure out a way to work around that and create a custom backspacer, which I have right here, and I'm going to show you guys. Made it out of the exact same material, and it's tough to see from the top angle, but I did bevel the edges so that you can get more of that cool carbon fiber look, or fat carbon look. Just really, really happy with this one. Small little touches, but does look good. And I'll show you guys a closer look once it's assembled. And another thing I did, I added a satin finish to the hardware. It was already a satin finish, but it, it, this is more of an aggressive satin finish. So you can see those rings. Really, really pleased with those. But that's pretty much it. Let's put this thing together and see what it looks like. So here is the knife all assembled and really really happy with the fat carbon again just a really really cool material and you can see the satin finish on the hardware just again it's it's a little touch but I think it goes a long way you can see there in the light and then I also did the same thing on the pins for the hardware just looks really really good I even touched up the the lanyard hole tube just to give it a more uh, I guess a shinier and brighter look especially against the, the darker fat carbon. Just a nice contrast all around. And another thing I like about fat carbon is when you bevel or put texture into the scale or the material, you expose more of that cool pattern and that really cool reflection. And we'll go to the backspacer here. So you can see I did bevel it right there. And then eventually it fades out or the, the beveled edge kind of just tapers off. And then you can see right there, it matches evenly with the show side scale and then the frame lock side. And then I also did the same thing on the front of the backspacer. Again, fades away and then has a nice tight fit up right there in between. And then the frame lock side, again, didn't do much to it. It already had the aggressive stone wash. So again, that satin finish on the hardware really, really pops against it. And we'll check it out opened up. I gotta say this knife is, this knife really surprised me. And it's been on my radar, I just never pulled the trigger. So what's really cool about this knife is it's, I think it's 25 or $30. I'll put it up on screen, but also put a link down below where you can pick one of these up because more than likely I'm gonna pick one of these up because the action on this is actually really good. It is riding on washers. So you have, uh, you have nylon washers and silicon bronze washers. So maybe that has something to do with it, but it's just, it's really snappy. And once it breaks in, cause I cleaned this, uh, before I even took it apart, it was, it was actually, it drop shed it really, really well. It still is very smooth right now. But like I said, it's just, it's, it's a really great knife. The Ergos are really good and it really surprised me. So I think, I think I'm going to pick one of these up. I also gave this blade a fresh, aggressive cutting edge. It did have some dull spots, so I figured I'd just bring it back to life and give it a fresh edge. And again, for that price, it's... For 14C28, and that's it's just a really really good deal, and it's a pretty big knife overall. So if you do have larger hands, I think this would fit perfectly, because I have medium size, and you can see I can fit another pinky if I had one. So this is one knife I'd actually recommend, especially for the price point. But there's the Real Steel H6 Plus. Again, you guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support, and as always, I will see you guys on the next one.